Now, how is Joseph, the biblical Joseph, how and why do we say that he was a type of Christ? We say this because of the the mythos. When we look at the mythos or the story, the word, when we look at the analogies or the the Michelin, the Michelin or the Misale Woch, the, the the parables, the parables and the proverbs and the similes and the likenesses are, are too numerous to be coincidental and definitely too numerous and purposeful to be accidental. This is why we say it. Although there's nowhere that is asserted in the scriptures that Joseph was a type of Christ, yet when we study the Torah and study the scripture, we can see that Joseph is a type of Messiah. So for the Old Testament disciples, Messiah would be the act of Mashiach. Uh, Moshiach would be the active word. For those who may have more of a New Testament orientation, it is Christ. But for the balance, we need to understand what is the meaning of Christ and Messiah is basically anointed, the one who is anointed. And then further um, study needs to be made on what is anointing, you know, what is the purpose of anointing. Now, some of the, the analogies or, or, or some of the, 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 the parables, you understand, and some of the mythos that actually links uh, Joseph to Christhood needs to be, um, needs to be touched upon, you understand, as well as Joseph's crisis, the crisis that Joseph went through and what he demonstrated and his own morality, his own walk, his own forgiveness. First of all, let's just go through, there's about seven of these. There's about seven of these we'd like to touch on in this portion right here. Firstly, both Yehoshua or Yesus or Yeshua and Yosef or Joseph they were a special objects of a father's love. They were special objects of their father's love. And we have scriptures to back this up. Namely, we have Genesis uh, 37 and 3. We have Matthew 3 and 17. We have John 3 and 35 as well as verse 20. So both Joseph and Yeshua, Yehoshua, Jesus, Jesus, not Jesus, but Jesus, both of them were special objects of a father's and the father's, the Abba's love, their Abba's love. Secondly, both were hated. Both were hated by their brethren. Both of them, Yehoshua, as well as Yosef, were hated by their brethren. We have this scripturally in Genesis 37 and 4, as well as John 15 and 25. So both Joseph and Yehoshua, they were hated by their respective or disrespective uh, brethren. Thirdly, both Joseph and and Yehoshua had the superior claims. They had superior claims. And these superior claims that they had were rejected by their brethren. That their superior claim, what they claimed, you know what I'm saying, prophetically, was rejected by their disrespective brethren. Once again, the scriptures show us this in Genesis, the Orit, the Torah, Barasit, uh, 37 and 8, as well as the Burt Hadasha or Adis Kidan, New Testament, Matthew 21, verses 37 to verse 39, John chapter 15, verses 24 and verse 25. So both Joseph and Yehoshua or Yesus, they had superior claims, superior prophetic claims that were rejected by their 
brethren. So that's that's the third that's the third uh, similarity analogy um, between both Joseph and Yehoshua, showing and demonstrating that Joseph was a type. Some might say anti-type, but then, you know, until we explain that, we're not going to use those terminologies, but he was a type of Christ. Now, the fourth matter that links Joseph and Yehoshua is the fact that the brethren of both conspired against them to slay them. That both of their brethren that hated them, that rejected their claims, conspired against them to slay them. Genesis chapter 37 and 18, Matthew chapter 26, verses 3 and 4. So both the brethren of Joseph and the brethren of Yehoshua, they conspired against them to slay them. Fifthly, Joseph, Joseph was in intent and in figure slain by his brethren, as was Yehoshua, as was the Jesus Christos, was slain according to the intent and according to the figure. Both of them were slain by their brethren, Genesis 37 and 24, Matthew 27, verses 35 to 37. And if you don't have a Schofield reference and study Bible, please take this down and just go over it for yourself. You understand? Find the truth for yourself and study this for yourself. You understand? And decide for yourself whether Joseph was a type of Mashiach, a type of Christ, a type of anointed based on the evidence. The sixth point is that each Joseph Jesus, each became a barakat, each became a blessing among the Gentiles or the non-Hebrews or more specifically the non-Beta or Bane Israel. And both of them gained a Gentile or a non-Beta Israel bride. Both of them gained a Gentile or a non-Israelite and in some say sense is a non Hebrew, in other words, non Ibrawian wife or bride. We have here Genesis um Genesis uh, forty forty one verses one to forty five. That's the story of Joseph and, and Asenat. And that's a that's a uh a Kamite name that it, it requires some um uh, investigation of very interesting Acts of the Apostles uh, 15 and 14 Ephesians uh, 5 verses uh, 25 and 32 now the seventh point the seventh point concerning Joseph being a type of Christ as Joseph Joseph reconciled Master Rarek, right? As he reconciled his brethren to himself. As he reconciled his brethren to himself. And after they were reconciled to himself, he exalted them. So this shows us also the, the, the process, the procedure, the order. That first one had to be reconciled before they are exalted. You understand? In other words, first we have to be born again before we can take on you understand those attributes or titles or exaltations of Rastafari. We have to be born again in spirit and in truth. So first comes the reconciliation and afterwards the exaltation. So it will be with the Mashiach, the Messiah, Christos, and his Hebrew brethren, and his own Hebrew brethren, according to Genesis 45, verses 1 to 15. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 1 to 10. Hosea, or Hosea chapter 2, verses 14 to 18. Romans chapter 11, verses 1, verse 15, verse 25, and verse 
26. And this seventh one here is interesting as well. My Rastafari, my anointed Rastafari brethren, when we're dealing with some of the the Hebrew Israelites, some of our Hebrew Israelites brethren, they are just like the brethren of Joseph. You understand? If we look through this and then look through what is going on in this present time, those who are hating and even blaspheming our Godfather, Nagusa Negest, Kedamawi, Haila Selassie, those who are hating on Rastafari, even trying to call what we are about false and fake and BS and just out of ignorance. But notice this, that so it was with Joseph. So it was with Yahushua. And so it is with Ras Teferi. Yeah. Yeah.